What's going on guys? Welcome back. Today we're going to go over the Hanna Instruments handheld alkalinity tester. I picked this one up at a local fish store for 60 bucks. I think you can't get them cheaper online, but I always like to spend money at local fish stores. Flip it over here. We can see specifications, what's included, accessories. Read the description there on the back. Kind of talks to you about why you should test for alkalinity. Now I do have to say, I'm impressed with the packaging. It's in uh, this real nice hard black box that looks like it's gonna keep well. Inside you'll see here the reagent we're gonna use to mix with the water, the actual tester, a couple vials. There's a syringe there in the back. I'll get a better shot of that in just a second. And then the tip of the syringe. And then there is our instruction manual. And then a uh, quick guide, which will go through the instructions a little easier. You can just flip it over instead of having to go through the instruction manual and read through everything. So let's open this up. And take a look here. It talks about the range, labels everything so that uh, as you read through the instructions, you know what they're talking about on each item. And then on the right hand side here, you will see the measurement procedure. And the quick, re quick reference guide, some tips for accurate measurement. And then this is basically, oh, dropped it. Basically another, uh, another go through of the procedure. So here is the checker. You're gonna have to take this little screw out and pull the bottom panel off and it is difficult to get off the first time. Once there's a battery in there, the spring for the battery helps eject it. But the first one I had to take the uh, screwdriver, take the screw out and then kind of pry it out, but be gentle because there is a little uh, piece in there that you don't want to break off. Here you can see that syringe. Now let's take the test tube. We're gonna fill it up with 10 milliliters of tank water and we're gonna use this water to zero out so essentially calibrate the tester so that uh, you can see how the reagent, reagent has reacted with it. So here we go. Press the button one time, you're gonna turn it on. You're gonna get this. C1 add, press flashing means it's ready to be zeroed. Make sure you dry off the, the vial here with 10 milliliters. This in here and then when you shut it you're gonna press the button one time and that's gonna zero it and you'll get the same screen C1 add press or C2 rather add press blinking now here is the syringe and that the tip has been added to it now if you're not familiar with this type of syringe so we're gonna draw one milliliter which is gonna take it all the way up above the 0 0.1 there and you're gonna draw the syringe that deep and the reagents not gonna go into the actual syringe it's gonna only be kept in the tip so don't attempt to draw it all the way up into the syringe. You'll have too much reagent. Here is the reagent vial. All right, and we're going to take this. Make sure that tip's completely submerged. And then we're going to draw up that one milliliter. Now, it might be easier for you to overshoot it a little bit, and then you can push the plunger back in until you get to your one milliliter. But like I said, all of the liquid should stay in that plastic tip. Make sure you take the lid off of the uh, vial first. That's gonna make it a little easier for you. And there we have our one milliliter of the reagent all contained in the tip there. Try to get that to focus. You can see the plunger is back to the zero. And then we're gonna slowly add that to the sample of tank water. And make sure not to get any on the outside. Also, be sure to rinse that tip afterwards. And then we're going to turn it over five times just to make sure that it's uh, equally mixed. And then stick it back in the tester here. 
probably a good, good idea to make sure there's not fingerprints on the vial. I didn't go through that in this video, but... Press the button here, and then it's going to blink a couple times, and it will give us our alkalinity. 8.9. All right, guys, that is the Hanna Instruments handheld alkalinity tester. I'm overall pretty pleased with it. It's a great product. Um, check out my page. I've got other product reviews, different stuff going on with my tanks, some trips we've gone on, overviewing different fish and stuff that I like a lot. You can check me out on Instagram, too. Um, I will leave the tags in the description. And thanks for watching.